How's it going today guys? This is Sean Suplee and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a two-step order form and why you might want to do that for your future funnels. So in this case we're going to go ahead into our funnel section here so click funnels funnels and we're going to add in a new funnel. We're going to do the classic funnel builder or you could use the cookbook in this case I'm just going to use the classic. We're going to create a new funnel. From here we'll go to sell your product and from this one we're going to do a sales funnel then we'll give it a name so we'll just do sales funnel two-step test and I'll add this into the test tag as well so I know that it's in there alright so it's building out the funnel and what we have now is a basic setup for this type of funnel but I'm actually going to customize this a little bit more and remove out the squeeze page as well as the sales page here and I'll show you why I'm doing that here in just a moment. I'm going to add in another page, which will be the OTO. And I'd probably add in another one, which would be the OTO downsell. But just to save some time, we're just going to leave this as the OTO page. So our order form page is actually going to act as the sales page and as the lead capture page. And to do that, uh, we'll just select a template here for the order form templates. I'm going to go ahead and open that up into the editor by clicking on edit page. And from here, this is a two step form element, but let's say you didn't have that on your page at the moment. You would just go ahead and add in a new element and that new element will be the two step order form. If you don't see this and this kind of like a order element area, it's because you have a different template selected other than order form templates. So you'll need to make sure that you have selected an order form template first. So go ahead and uh, select that uh, two step one. And we're going to go ahead and open up this element for the two step. And we're going to customize it a bit. So there's two steps. There's step one and then step two. You'll see it change on my screen here. In step one, I'm asking for pretty much a lot of information. But it, let's say I don't need all that and I only really need name and email address and that's why that's why it's going to act as the um, lead capture page we'll go into the advanced tab here and for show phone number we'll go ahead and hide that for the shipping we're going to hide that as well and for the order bump I'm going to hide that the order bump is just on the second step which would be a little box down here at the bottom where I can go ahead and uh, have them click on a checkbox to order a additional product on the order form page so you'll see now on this, if I go ahead and save, and let's preview that. All right, so this is our sales page slash lead capture page. And we would just type in as if we were coming to the page. And then you'll see that we're taken to the order form page. But on this first step, we've actually captured their name and email address already. So we are able to follow up with them for um, like additional follow-up sequence. We can also put in a trigger if you're using the internal ClickFunnel system, which is Actionetics. And that trigger could be if they've visited this page but then not buy the product. We'll say 15 minutes later, let's send them an email or even a text message or a voicemail. Um, just asking them if they ran into any issues with their order when they were trying to process it. And uh, that's one way that we can save a lot of sales and uh, hopefully get some more. All right, so we'll go back into the editor. The other spot that you would want to set up here is underneath settings integrations. And here's where we're going to connect it either into the internal system of ClickFunnels or if you have a third party system that you want to use, such as AWeber, we go ahead and select that. So you would select it. Integrate, integrate to an existing list and then what list you wanted to add them to or you would go into action edits, add to list and then what list you wanted to add them to. You can go ahead and save that. So now when they filled this out, this first step, they are on my list. And let's back out of here. And we'll go to the OTO page and we'll set this up real quick. All right, so we'll go underneath sales here and then one click upsell. And I'll show you how the one click upsell works here in just a moment. So we'll select this. And then we would select our order confirmation page 
and we don't need a thank you page in this case. So we'll delete that out. Order confirmation page. We'll just select the one at random here. <clears throat> All right, so now we have our funnel. It's only three steps. Now we'll need to connect this order form page into Stripe. If you do, if you don't know how to connect into Stripe, like set it up, mm -hmm. I have included a video here in the top right hand corner. Uh, just go ahead and click on that right now at the moment and you can go ahead into my other video that shows how to set up Stripe onto ClickFunnels. Uh, but assuming you already have that set up, we would go into the products tab here at the top. Click on add new product. We'll give the product a name. In this case, I'll just call it product. Our integration will be the Stripe account. The amount charged, in this case, I'll just do a one-time charge. If you do a subscription, you'll need to set that up within uh, Stripe itself first. So in this case, we'll just set this to 17 one time. And we can do a fulfillment email on this. So if we wanted to send them to a membership area, or anything like that, we could include this into here. Uh, this would only be sent out if it has confirmed that they have ordered this product that you're currently setting up. We can also set up an email integration on here. So let's say I wanted to create a buyer's list on either ActionEdX or Aweber. Go ahead and select that, integrate to an existing form, and then let's say I had a buyer's list, I could go ahead and select that there. So now I have my free list, and then I have my buyer's list of confirmed buyers through this funnel. Uh, shipping would be uh, these two here if you need to ship anything out and if you had any kind of affiliate program into here you would go ahead and select the affiliate program that you're using within uh, ClickFunnels which is Backpack. Um, I do believe I have another video on this playlist about Backpack if you want to go ahead and uh, search for that and look for it. So that's all there is to the two-step order form. Uh, so this is very beneficial if you want to uh, capture more information and do like a kind of automated follow-up sequence for anybody that has not ended up buying your product. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and uh, click the like button. And if you have any questions on this, feel free to comment below and I would be happy to address those for you in either a comment or an additional video.